One, one person, please. One person, please. Do you have any questions? Okay, 12 rounds. It's important you obey my commands. You can see the, the belly buttons is the demarcation line. Touch close now, good luck, let's go to work. Despite the first fight, Rachman is a two to one favorite because he's been in bigger fights against tougher opponents since then and because he is four years younger at 33. Partially as the result of having trained to fight Vitaly Klitschko four separate times in the last year and a half, I see Rachman remains in terrific chiseled shape for a big heavyweight. Oleg Moskayev fights in a kind of unusual leaning back style with his right hand up in front of him. He looks like he has the right glove open, but he clinches it in time to throw the big right hand like the one that knocked Rachman through the ropes. He hasn't started off like he wanted to assert himself, like he wants to assert himself and remind Rockman of what happened in the first fight. And Rockman gets started with a couple of right hand shots to Moskayev's body. Moskayev doesn't seem intent on doing anything to stop Rockman's jab, but Rockman is starting off relatively cautiously, Lennox, just pushing the jab to the body. They're taking a look at each other. They haven't seen each other for a long time, so they're just seeing what's, what's going on, if anything's changed from the first time they fought. Into the corner goes Maskaev, and there's Rock across the top with a big right hand. The right hand punching power seemed to be missing against James Tony, but that could be because Tony is such an elusive target. There's Maskaev's right hand. No jab to set it up. Just here it is, I'm coming. The thing about a lot of European boxers, they keep their head in one spot. They're not into the side-to-side -side movement. So usually when, like, say, Rock wants to throw that right hand, Moskev's head is always there for it. It's always in that one place. He needs to move it from side to side if he wants to get away from Rock's right hand. Moskev. Trying to slide to his right and shoot a right hand. Rachman has taken advantage of Moskayev's hesitancy in the first couple of minutes to land some body shots and a couple of jabs. And one right hand across the top. There's a right hand to the body by Moskayev. Moskayev's nose already reddened from the jabs of Rachman. Rachman is the more energetic fighter. He'll roll his hands, shuffle his feet. Look for ways to land. Moskayev tends to stand much stiller, waiting to throw a big punch. Moskayev, you see him moving to the right, trying to get away from Rusk Rachman's right. Trying to make it a longer punch you can more easily see. Now Moskayev trying to reel Rachman in with his left hook a little bit. And Rock jabs him back away and then shoots the right hand again. Right hand over the top for Moskayev. And he lands a second right hand on the chin of Hasim Rahman. Moskayev still seems a little tense in there. He needs to really relax a bit more. When Moskayev was in the corner before. Rahman was able to land a right. And he lands one more little right to punctuate the round. Let's go. This guy, this guy's terrified of you, bro. You can't. He. You, let me tell you something. He's terrified. You got to start going with the jab and drop to the right, drop to the left, back there, and get out like I told you. You understand? The jab, you, you have to respect your jab and pain, okay? Now, if you get in here close and you don't move your head, he's going to throw the right hand. So if you throw the right hand, you got to come back, okay? Behind your face, just keep that pain move, just keep putting them off, keep looking at the back, and keep driving that shot to the body, okay? Do stiff jab, man. This is where Maskev doesn't want to be, right against the ropes, right where Rockman can throw that big right hand. As you can see, Maskev doesn't have no place to go. That was the best punch of the round. Landed by Rockman. Okay. Jabs in the first round. Copybox counted Rockman with 11 landed jabs and 30 throws. That's a good number for him. If he keeps that up, he'll keep Maskev on the defensive. Maskev only threw 10 jabs in the round, landed only one. Obviously. 
Moskiev's trainer Valley wants him to be more offensive, more aggressive. Saying Rachman is terrified is just a way of saying you gotta go after him. First round went to Rachman on the Letterman scorecard. I'm not even sure that Oleg Moskaev is concerned with winning rounds. I don't know that he thinks he can win a decision. I think he's here to try to knock Rachman out again, Lennox. Landed a good right hand inside. I think Rachman's trying to knock him out. And there's a right and a left by Rachman. And a good right hand by Rachman shoves Moskaev back into the ropes. Rachman setting all this up with that good telephone pole jab. He jabbed you well in South Africa in the first three rounds. Rachman it, does have a good jab. Is you it know, heavy? It's, it's heavy. He definitely puts his power behind it. He steps into it, which is a good thing. Now Moskaev stops Rachman in his tracks with a left hook. Comes back and lands another left hook. And Moskaev jumping at the straight right hand after those two little left hooks. Stop. That was okay. Look for a moment as though Rachman might be susceptible to the left hook. Perhaps because he's so conscious of wanting to land a right. No! Stop! That's not good. No, that's cool. That's cool around his back. That's way back here. All right? Box. There's a red spot above the left eyebrow of Oleg Moskayev. I'm not sure if he already has a little nick up there. Could just be an abrasion. Moskayev backing Rachman off with the right hand. Oh, there's a little blood there. Yep, it's a cut. Uh, it doesn't look like it's in a serious place, uh, but you can't really tell yet. Good body shot by Moskayev digging up and under with the left hand. Actually, the placement of the cut is such that if it bleeds, it could bleed into his eye and impair his vision. Yep. Yeah, this is a situation where Moskayev hasn't been in too many hard fights, so his face is in condition to it. So any strong punch or jab from, from Rock is going to open that up straight away. And it did. And let me tell you, that jab is really strong stop, stop, by Rob because he's, you know, he's putting all the power behind it and shocking power. That's what's going to open up the cut on Muskay's face. You see Rachman sometimes consciously jabbing to the body. In his big success against Lennox Lewis in South Africa, he managed to jab enough to the body to lower Lennox's hands a little bit, and it helped him to set up the big right hand. Stop! I'm here. I'm going to stop. No punch. Step back, step back. Now box. This has been an excellent round for Hasim Rakhman. Oleg Moskayev had one little flurry with the two left hooks, followed by a right hand. But for most of the round, Rakhman has been landing his jab and chasing Moskayev around. He trade right hands at the end of the round, and Moskayev liked the way his felt. Nothing. 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 Keep moving to your right. This is nothing. Mouthpiece. All right. Where's the mouthpiece? What is mouthpiece? All right. Mouthpiece. Okay. Nothing. All right. All right. All right. You can see where. Oh, this is where. This is where the, a clash of heads came. It looks like that's where the cut came from. Exactly right. Nevada State Athletic Commission has already ruled that the cut was the result of an accidental headbutt. And Lennox, you're right on the money. It was right there where they came head to head. Copy box numbers through two. Rachman 38 out of 81. Moskayev 13 out of 72. Again, not sure Oleg Moskayev is even contemplating the possibility of winning rounds. He was well behind on the scorecards when he won the first fight by knockout. Rachman blocking that right hand with his left glove. Hard right hand by Rachman. Moskayev still trying to knock down a wall by landing a right hand through Rachman's left glove. Yeah, you know, and he's finding that left hook, Jim. Maybe Rachman is so conscious of the right, he's not seeing the left. Step back, he's not going to hit while I'm doing this. Box. Hard right hand by Moskayev. Rachman takes it well. Okay, you're holding. Tries to That's get back into right. position Stop to throw his own right. Up, right. Let me tell you, Rachman's loading up with that right hand right now. He needs to keep working on that job, you're soften holding. him up a bit Stop. more. Box. Needs more patience. 
See, right there, he should be jabbing his way in, not walking in. Jabbing his way in. Left hook lands again for Moscow. Evan Rockman shaking his head as if to say, I'm not sure why I can't get out of the way of your left hook. Stop! Rockman a little bit over anxious with the right hand. The holding yell is at Moskaya. Don't hit me the back. Don't hold. Holding. See, Rakpan seems to feel pretty confident the way he keeps walking toward Moskaya and pressuring him. They trade jabs. Rockman with the heavier jab sets up a right hand. Moskayev landing two left hooks to come off the rope. Moskayev looked a little bit stunned momentarily on the ropes. What it is, it, it was his balance. His balance wasn't, wasn't correct. And he needs to work on that balance. Stop! He's actually throwing punches off balance. I have two straight right hands. Rachman partially blocked one. Box, box. Tried to come back with his own right. <laughs> left hook lands for Moskayev. Another left hook. He backs Rachman into the ropes. Stop! You're holding way too much. Well. Rachman and Moskayev talking to each other there. Rock may be developing a little. Serious dislike for Oleg Moskaya. It's going to be useful. Okay, well. Look here. When you're using Don't a double yeah. jab, man, it's an easy fight. Right hand to your body. You're just looking to load up with the right hand. Keep uh -huh. stepping over to your right. Take your right hand out of play. Right, okay. Okay. You cannot stand the rope. You gotta get busy, like like fire and lightning. You gotta have a fire and desire and go to that body. Rip that body up. We're not talking about one punch. Here we're gonna see a good left right by by Rockman catching Maskev straight on the chin. Copy box numbers in three, Rockman 26 out of 49. Landing more than half your punches is a very good sign. Moscow have 10 out of 50. Harold, how did you score the first three rounds? Okay, Jim, 30 to 27, three rounds to nothing. Hasim Rachman. Jim, I like him because he's the busier guy coming forward just like he is now, landing a jab, landing an occasional good right hand, getting off first every time. So he's the cleaner puncher, the busier guy, and the effective aggressor. Three to nothing, Rachman. Victor, Victor Valley is really. Uh feeling that Moskayev doesn't have the zeal to win this fight as he did seven years ago. 37 years old, how badly does he want it? Stop! It's not that, you know, he's trying to make a boxer out of a puncher and you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, he says you can, but now he is insisting that he go back to being the puncher. Rachman landed a big left hook and a straight right hand. Moskayev again wobbled momentarily on the ropes. Rachman pressuring and going after Moskayev. Moskayev looking to stand his ground one time. Reverse everything with one big shot. Rachman gets himself structured again, gets ready to start throwing his jab. Moskayev is really reacting off of Rachman, of, off what Rachman's doing. He needs to really do something for himself. Because the only punches he's really thrown is that hook and left right. And he's getting outboxed. He's getting outboxed both along the ropes and in the center of the ring because Rock is throwing more, using a wider variety of punches, and most particularly jabbing with more confidence. And he should have confidence because he's been in against some good boxers, such as myself and James Tony and, and some others. Maskev hasn't done nothing. Maskev is swinging away. Trying to reverse everything with a big left hook or a big right cross. Rachman is working his way into position to own stop. the fight on the scorecards go, and see where he can go let from go, there. Let go, let go. Step back. Thank you, Box. 
Trade body shots in close. Stop, stop. Step back. Put his own punch. Yeah, box. As Rachman walked forward, Moskaya implanted his feet for one big right hand shot. Moskaya does not want to be next to the ropes like that. Swinging away with the right hand is Moskaya to try to get Rachman off of it. Rachman's punches shorter, straighter, more consistent. Box numbers in the first full round. Hasim Rahman is averaging 28 jabs per round. He's thrown 107. He's landed 50 of them for a 47% connect percentage. Moscow have only seven out of 78. But all that means is that Rahman, with his better jab, is outboxing Oleg Moskayev and gaining a lead on the scorecards. Moskayev still looking to land one big shot and change everything. Maybe uh, you can teach an old of new tricks, but are they worth anything? Can they be used? And how much will the old dog listen when he hears things that he knows aren't true? I mean, I always wonder. Baye tells Moskayev at the end of the first round, Rockman is scared to death of you. Well, clearly Rock isn't scared to death of him, and Moskayev knows that. Don't hold him. Why don't you hold listen him. to the trainer at that point? Thank you. Here's a hard right hand by Rachman. Perhaps a template for what he wants to do later on. Two left hooks by Moskayev. He continues to land his left hook more frequently than he does his straight right hand. Rachman doesn't want to get reckless and just swing away and trade with this man. He's got boxing advantages, Lennox. Yes, he does, and he should use them. See, a lot of Rockman's fights, he's, it looks like a sparring match because he's brawling all the time when he's definitely got other things in his arsenal he should use, like his jab. Oh, yeah. Which is doing a lot of, lot of good things for him right now. It's pretty simple for Rockman. He's at his best when he remembers to box to set up his punches. He's at his worst stop when he tries to roundhouse yeah, punch and brawl. When he tries Don't to hold. punch and brawl like that, it makes it a 50-50 chance for him to win the fight because the other guy's throwing the same punches and he might get caught. I warn you about a hole. That's the first warning. And Jane Nady with his first warning to Oleg Moskaya for holding. Don't hold. Don't hold. Don't hold. You're holding. You turn your head. He's going to hit you back there. Moskaya and Nady are not on the same page yet. Good left hook by Rachman, and he got inside and busted Moskaya up with a good straight right hand as well. And the left hook lands again for Moskaya. Stop! Flush on Rachman's chin. Second final warning pretty soon. Rachman's doing a pretty good job blocking Moskaya's right. Maybe as a result of that, he's getting painted with left hooks. Don't hold him, don't hold him. You're I think, I, I like Jay Nady as a referee. I think he's being over officious here. I don't think that Moskaya is doing all that much holding. Plus, they're heavyweights. Of course they're going to hold. You can't get go in a fight with a heavyweight and not expect some holding. Moskaya's best 20-second period there as he landed a straight hold. right hand I mean, and a couple more left hooks. I mean, I don't want to see a fighter hold a lot either, but I don't see excessive holding. No, 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 me neither. No, I'm with you on that, Harv. Or Larry. Larry. <laughs> Larry. 
In the past, Rockman has had stamina problems late in fights. We're not there yet, but it's something that has to be watched. Well, of course, one of his most critical losses came after he totally outboxed David Tua for eight rounds, got hit with a punch after the end of the eighth round, wound up getting TKO'd in the ninth because Tua got an opportunity from the illegal punch. But that's one of the fights in which he was well ahead and seemed to get momentarily careless. I don't think Rotman's gonna have stamina problems in this fight because of the way he was training. He was training up in Big, Big Bear, California, and that's high altitude. Last guy have also trained at altitude in Colorado Springs, figuring, I guess, that if Rockman was going to train at altitude, he'd better do the same thing. Yeah, train at higher altitude. Set. Second warning. Next time. Copy box number through five. Oh, there you go. Nady with the second warning to Maskey for holding. See, a, ref a referee can really bother you at that time and really get you out of your game, so you have to really stay focused. Maskey stands his ground, fires a right hand. Rockman again, locking the rights pretty well, letting some of the left hooks through. After five rounds, Rockman had landed stop, exactly stop, twice stop, stop, as many punches stop, 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 stop. as Moskayev by copy box count. That's a much bigger margin than was the case in the first fight, where Rock was well ahead on points when Moskayev knocked him out. Rockman's eyes got big as saucers as he went for a right hand there. But Moskayev was gone from the target. More and more, Moskayev is starting to try to put knockout mustard on his left hook realizing that he lands the left hook more frequently than he does the right. Now he catches Rockman with a right, comes back with two left, a couple of body punches. Pretty good thought process by Rock I mean by Moskaya up here in this round. Definitely doing a lot more. Rockman has been slowing down. Don't hold him. Don't hold him. It was in the sixth round in Atlantic City seven years ago that Rockman really had Moskaya going. And Moscow have had to weather the storm. You're holding. Stop it. You stop it, Jay. <laughs> now Moscow have lands the right hand. Don't hold it. Don't hold it. He's getting closer, moment by moment, to landing something big, clean, and sharp with the right hand. Rockman with a little jab, and now a big stiff jab, and another one. Those are three brilliant jabs by Hasim Rockman. And he knows he's got a good thing going, so he keeps throwing it. In a jabbing contest, Rock is going to win. Moskayev is pretty good there. But Rockman steps inside and lands a left and a right. Right hand to punctuate the round for Hasim Rockman. Halfway through. You okay? All right, take a deep, give me a deep breath, Roy. Okay, give me a good deep breath. Roy. Look here. Now, I want you to use more jabs, okay? Mm -hmm. Do those jabs. Now, don't just walk in. You walk in, you gotta walk in moving your hand. Don't just walk straight in and look for the shot. Move your hip. He's hurting bad, bro. All right, come on. Come on. Keep, the, keep, keep that down. I'm going. In, Fred. Keep that jab going. You gotta start letting go. Listen, start aiming the punches right, in the middle of the chest. Okay. Neither fighter looks like the salvation of the heavyweight division, but this is a good, tough, and I have it a very close fight. I have it even. Harold, how do you have it? Okay, Jim, 
57, three rounds apiece. I got it all even. I gave the first three rounds to uh, Hasim Rockman, but Oleg Vizcaya doing what you just saw there. Left hook, straight right hands, catching Rockman away in. By the way, I got to agree with all of you guys. Oleg Vizcaya is not holding. Three to three, 57, 57. They trade punches in the center of the ring. Coming exactly the kind of fight it was in Atlantic City in 1999 when Rockman got upset and knocked out by Moskayev's right hand. Again, Rockman goes back to the jab, which is his big advantage in the fight. Rockman realizes that jab's working for him now. That's a good thing. Stop! What Moskayev does better than Rockman is he shows shorter, crisper punches. Rockman's right hand is a long punch, and you've got to be right there at the end of it for it to matter. Stop now, stop, please. Referee needs to go in there and break them. Oh, Moskayev thunderous with the right hand here. He lands two good right. Rachman momentarily not punching along the ropes. Moskayev trying to get in one more big shot. Rachman trying, Rachman trying to back him off with the right. Once again, once again, Jane Aidy warns Moskayev. I'm very surprised by the one-sidedness of his referee. Larry, I would have to agree with you. Perhaps reminding you of Memphis, Tennessee against Mike Tyson and the number of times that Eddie Cotton was warning you for pushing Tyson down or holding when in fact it didn't seem like there was much of that going on. Thank you. I always wanted the opportunity to say that's a terrible ref. <laughs> Both fighters tired now. And now Rachman has his turn. And Moskayev backs him off with the left hook. Rock wants to keep coming with the right hand. This has been a tumultuous round. Moskayev has gotten in a couple of very don't clean hold, shots. Don't hold, don't hold. You're holding. Stop! No secret to anybody in the arena what Oleg Moskayev is trying to do. He's trying to duplicate what he did seven years ago. He's trying to land another right hand that changes Hasim Rachman's life. This is what happened in the eighth round. November 6, 1999. Rachman had been in trouble for several seconds, having trouble finding his balance before Moskayev landed this shot. One of the questions in some fights about Rockman has oh. been stamina. Right hand puts Rockman on the floor right next to me. Right next to me. Right next to me. And he doesn't look floor. like he's going to get up. No, he isn't. He he's may. not going to get up anytime soon. Oleg. And that was Oleg Moskayev celebrating his knockout of Hasim Rockman seven years ago in 1999. Can he do it again tonight? Their fight is somewhat similar as they arrive at that eighth round juncture. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Power punches through seven here. Oleg Moskayev making a comeback. Rachman is 73 out of 153. Moskayev 62 out of 213. Harold Letterman now has Moskayev ahead in the fight as the result of having won four rounds in a row on the Letterman card. Both fighters were slow to get off the stool at the end of the break between rounds. You know, in my mind, Rockman's winning the fight. That jab is definitely apparent and definitely, definitely effective. Rockman stepping forward with the jab here. Moskayev long ago dispensed with the jab as a primary weapon. He's throwing big right hands and left hooks. Oleg right now, Moskev is tired. 
He's breathing hard and looking very weary. And he's, his hands are down below his waist. See, these, moments of rest. This is where you get caught. When you're tired, this is where you get hurt. And Rachman seems aware of it and is you're looking only. to step forward and land something. <laughs> Two jabs by Rachman, a right hand and a left hook by Oleg Moskaya. Picture of the fight. Rachman advancing behind the jab, landing crisper. Moskaya landing more and more of his big power shots. Moskaya needs to keep his hands up right now. The fact that he's tired, he's dropping his hand. Like I said, that's where you get hurt. Now hold it. Let go. Stop. You got his arm over there. You think I can't see it? Almost two thirds of the way through the bout. Both fighters tired, and so it would appear. Moskai have the tireder of the two okay, here in the eighth. Hands all the way below his waist. Moskayev got himself back into the don't fight. Hold, don't hold, Rock. You're holding, and Rock. Seems you? to have the momentum. Hold, you're holding, you're holding. But now Stop. he's sort of hit the wall. Okay, boss. Yeah, but is Rachman doing enough to take advantage of Moskayev hitting the wall? There's a right hand by Rachman and a good left hand inside as Moskayev was trying to throw his right. Rachman got the better of that exchange. And he lands two quick left hooks as Moskayev didn't have his hands up. The deep played in Rachman's favor in round eight. I want you to be smart with it, okay? Be smart. Use the jab. This time, go out like you did the first round. Real sweet. Real, real sharp with the jab. And buy around with the jab, okay? Keep jab. Now, when he's... Give me your leg. 15 Come minutes on. for your life, baby. Come on. Watch what you put. Step into your punches. Listen. Don't cross your legs. Don't cross your legs. All right, we're going to see some jabs from Rockman. Very effective. This, this is what makes the difference in a fight, the jab. Anytime a guy tries to start something, get that jab in his face, it just stops everything he, he tries to try. Well, Torrance, Rockman's trainer, told him just to try to win this round with the jab because he sees that Rockman is tired and he's trying to help him pull himself together for the last four rounds. Rachman's connect advantage in the eighth round, 33 to 12, the biggest of the fight so far. He landed 19 out of 34 jabs in the round and an assortment of power punches to go with them. So Rachman is coming off of a round which should have given him momentum toward the latter part of the fight. Stop, stop, no, no, stop, 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 please. Step back, step back, both of you. Thank you, gentlemen. Much. There goes that jab again. It's abundantly clear what happens when Rachman is able to keep throwing the jab and landing it. He creates space, Stop. he sets up his defense, he's in the right position. It's harder for Moskayev to land his power shots. There he does it again. Rachman just putting Moskayev out of the way with the jab at a moment when Moskayev was trying Stop. to throw his right. Is Moskayev showing his age here? Watch your head, Rock. Watch your head. Or is he going to be able to land something big? Is he trying to set a trap to land one big one? I think he's trying to set a, a trap. That's, that's what he's trying to do. He's leaning back, waiting for Rock to commit himself so he can throw his power right hand after that. Got a good left hook there. And another right hand and left hook, and now Moskayev with the jab, Moskayev with two body shots. Stop! Momentarily thought he had a foothold towards something bigger. Hard right hand by Rachman. Stop! Stop! Okay, guys. Moscow 
hand. Says, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to throw this right hand and go on it. I'm going to land it sometime. I thought I saw some blood coming out of Rockman's mouth after one of those right hands. Don't hold him. Don't hold him. Good body shots again by Moscow. Trying to make Rockman conscious of the body so that he can land something upstairs. Two big, strong men leaning against each other through nine rounds. Both very tired now as we get ready for the last nine minutes in the ring. And if Rockman had fallen behind prior to the last two rounds, he's made a big rally. Water, water, water. We need water. Spread your legs down. Come on. Give me this bottle. Give me that bottle. Okay. 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 Everything behind your head. Cover the left hook. Yes, sir. Left hook is missing. Right. And you load up with your right hand. Right. 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 Under degree night in Las Vegas. A lot of people talking in Rockman's corner. At least Moscow only listens to Victor Valle Jr. Rockman with a 24, 5 to 14 connect advantage on the ninth round. Over the course of the last two rounds, Rockman has landed 58 punches by Tapia Bakkaut to only 26 for Moscow. Now Moskayev starts the 10th with two big right hands. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Okay, Jim, five rounds to four, 86, 85, Hasim Rachman. Jim, I'm going to tell you, I think physical condition is going to be the, who wins this fight. The guy that's in better condition down the last three rounds, I think should win this fight. I think the last two rounds to Rachman, just like you Stop. called it. Five to four, Rachman. Okay, box. Is it physical condition or is it age? Well, ultimately, don't it becomes hold, the same hold, thing. Yep. <laughs> Can Rachman at age 33 exert greater energy over the course of the last three rounds than Moskayev at age 37? Lennox, you had some of these 12-round fights that were wars of wills. How difficult is it to fight exhaustion for big men like this in the late rounds? It, it is very difficult because you got big guys in there. The good thing the referee's doing is not allowing them to hold. So, you know, Stop. once you're holding and wrestling in there, that takes a lot more energy out of you. But age is definitely a factor. When you reach 38, 37, 38, that's when you start to plateau off in the age. Good body shots by Moscow. And a big left hook upstairs by Rockman. But since Moskayev started really devotedly throwing the body shots two rounds ago, he's getting himself more gainfully into possible position to throw a big right hand upstairs. Still, Rockman's winning the rounds with his jab. Don't hold, don't hold. Don't hold. I think Nady's doing a very good job right now. Rockman wants to be at close quarters because it's at close quarters that Moskayev seems to do better. Right, right there. But I think Rockman thinks that Moskayev is tiring and that he is going to have a chance to knock him out. Plus, he wants to impose his size and his strength on Moskayev. He, he feels that Moskayev doesn't have enough power or energy that's, that he has. Even the stamina. When they wrestle, Rock probably feels as though he's the stronger man. And therefore is going to tire Moskai about more than vice versa. In my scorecard, that evens the fight again. 
Although again, Moskayev looked the tireder of the two. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Get some water. Get some water. Oleg, it's eleventh round. Eleventh round. Put some water in his mouth. Oleg. Oleg, listen. When it says thirty seconds, you gotta start letting go now. Go to the body. You, you haven't tried that left uppercut for nothing, bro. Get mouth, that baby. left uppercut going. Get those up. When you don't be in there, you don't have to. And listen. Keep your back off the rope. I do not want your back off the rope. Okay? Okay. Is that clear? Yes, okay. Sir. All right. Look. Look at guys so square. You can run them up because up the middle, baby. All right. Listen, Rock. Here we go. Hey, hey, do? Look at Listen, take, give me this round. All right, let's go. Copy box numbers in the 10th show Moskayev with a 22 to 17 connect advantage. That is the first round in which Copy Box has found Moskayev outlanding Rockman. A nice change for the sport. A second entertaining heavyweight fight this year. The other one, of course, was Lehman Brewster against Sergei Lyahovich. A very entertaining heavyweight fight. The winner of that one, Lyahovich, is here tonight to see if maybe one of these two guys wants to fight him. Lyahovich, originally from Belarus, now living in Phoenix, owner of the heavyweight title belt as the result of his victory over Brewster. Good left hook by Moscow. Backs Rachman off. Another good left took by Moskaya. Rockman still seeming to want to get close and try to impose his weight and his will on Moskaya. Good right hand by Rockman. Punch domination there by Moskaya. Momentarily stopped Rackman in his tracks. Good left hook. Once again, the left hook, the most effective punch all night for Oleg Moskaya. He's landed some right hands, but not nearly as frequently as he's landed that strong left hook on the jaw of Rackman. He's also done better body work than Rackman has. Can a heavyweight title holder win on a jab? Left hook again lands for Moskaya. Rockman needs to re start rallying now. This is getting too close right now. He needs to really stop, bridge the gap. Lennox, if I see him, Rockman loses a decision to Oleg Moskaya. It's hard for me to believe that we will ever see him within range of ruling the heavyweight division again. I'd have to agree, agree with you. Now Rachman grabs and holds Moskaya blatantly as Moskaya landed two more heavy shots. All of a sudden, Rachman wants to go backwards after that. There's a swelling outside the right eye of Hasim Rachman. That is clearly the product of those successful left hooks by Oleg Moskaya. And there's another left hook by Moskaya. And a left hook on the jaw. And Moskaya still isn't throwing that left uppercut Stop. that Victor Valle Jr. is asking for, but the left hook has been very kind to him in the 11th round. Oh, and Rachman hasn't found hey. anything as effective Don't as Moskaya's left hook. Don't do it anymore. Now, Jay Mady sees a, a low Come blow. In. Box. And Moskaya says, or Rachman's ready to fight. And Moskayev gets in two more shots before the end of the round. So Rachman chose not to take any time to recover from the low blow. And we've got one round to go in Las Vegas in a very interesting fight. Okay. Uh, okay. Now give me a deep breath. Give me a deep breath. Give me a deep breath. Give me one more. One more. Okay, this is the last round. Last round, man. Last round, man. Okay. Give me a spin, buddy. This is the last round. Okay, rock. Rock. Okay. Okay. Right, bro. All right, come on. Come on. Last round. Okay. Hold it. Last round, baby. Last round. You're doing good. Papa's a mama. So just go. Last round. Last round. Last round. Last round. Last round. Last round. Last Keep them in the middle of the ring. Keep them in the middle of the ring. Let's go. So Papa's a mama. Let's go. Go to the 12th and final round is 
this not just the twilight of American heavyweight gods, but the nightfall of American heavyweights. Three minutes to go. Asim Rahman rallied in the ninth and tenth rounds, outlanded Oleg Moskayev in both of those rounds. Seem potentially be headed home in the fight. Moskayev is rallied in the tenth and eleventh. Outlanded Rahman in both of those rounds by a 45 to 31 margin. And now we're going to have a tape problem on the glove of Rahman, and there will be a delay, which gives Moskayev a little bit more time to rest and prepare himself for these last two minutes, 34 seconds. Time in, says Jay Nady. Stop! Stop. Oleg Moskev looked at the beginning okay. of the fight as though he wasn't concerned with winning rounds. I even suggested that it might not be important to him. Oh, they be in position. Oh! Or knock Rachman out. The left hook started the damage. Down goes Rock. It is a knockdown. And Rachman's trying to argue to Nady that he was pushed down. No, he got knocked down. He started the damage. He got knocked down. Can Moskayev knock Rachman out again? Rachman is wobbling, holding on for dear life. A near tackle by Rachman. He's got to make it through a minute and a half just to finish the fight. Oleg Moskayev may be headed for a two-point round in the 12th. Exhausted Rachman doesn't seem to have the firepower to fight back. And after Nady spent so much time warning Moskov about holding, Rachman's trying to hold to finish, and Moskov is trying to knock him out again. Solid right hands by Moskov. Well, he's far around in a landslide. And he's far enough away that he's not going to fall in our laps either. For the moment, Rockman is still rocky on his feet. His feet are not there. I'm telling you, he's going to get knocked out in this fight. Oleg his legs are gone. Never and that's play. it. Won't it's over. It's it is over. He's won the fight. Oleg Moskov has another knockout of Hasim Rockman. Where have you, where have you gone, Joe Lewis? A lonely boxing nation turns its eyes to you. All four heavyweight title belts belong to fighters born and raised in former Soviet republics. So if the heavyweight division is dying in America, it is alive and well in Eastern Europe. And if you think this is not an exciting time for the heavyweight division here, you'd feel differently if you were from Kazakhstan or Ukraine or Russia, or Belarus. This is how it all started. It started with a left-right combination on the chin that wobbled Rockman. Just couldn't get his balance back from there. This is where he's hurt. Here's another look at it from a different angle. And here's the stoppage, Lennox. Right hand, boom. Right hand, boom. Right hand, boom. So he finally knocks him out with the right hand, but all night long, it was the left hook that set it up. Absolutely. I think that was uh, a wonderful performance at the end of the day or the night by Moschia for a 37-year-old guy to outlast a 33-year-old guy. Once again, taking advantage of, of, of Rachman's problem with stamina, which he's had through his entire career. A sturdy, willing, intelligent fighter who simply wouldn't give up in the fight. That's Oleg Moskayev. He wouldn't give up in his career when his former trainer told him he ought to quit for his own health, that he couldn't stop power punches anymore. He wouldn't give up in this fight when Rachman appeared to be out jabbing him and outlanding him early in the fight. And he gets his second knockout victory over Hasim. Here's Michael Buffer with the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Las Vegas, the Cinderella story of heavyweight boxing comes to life.
at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number 12, the winner by knockout victory and new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Oleg, the big O. Once again, your four heavyweight title holders, Oleg Maskayev, born in Kazakhstan, raised mostly in Uzbekistan, now a resident of Staten Island and Sacramento, an American citizen. He beats natural-born American citizen Hasim Rahman, despite having landed 66 fewer punches, having thrown 117 more punches, and landing at a significantly no lower connect percentage.